Hey everyone, I'm Carson with Kapwing, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a photo slideshow for TikTok and adjust the timing. A photo slideshow is a series of photos and sometimes videos that creates a story or teaches you something, maybe with audio overlaid on top. But here's the thing about TikTok. It automatically sets your photo timing to about 2.5 seconds with no real way to accurately and specifically adjust that timing. It seems a little bit weird to me, but luckily, Kapwing lets you customize your TikTok slideshows so you can create your stories exactly the way you want them in a matter of minutes. I am gonna walk you through how to do that using our browser-based online video editor, Kapwing, as well as how you can add audio, text, and transitions to level up your storytelling. The first thing you're gonna need to do is upload your photos into Kapwing. To do this, go ahead and click the link in the bio below this video. Once you're here, click Start Editing and you will see these options. If you're on your computer, you can drag your photos from your desktop, or if you are on your smartphone, you can click to upload from your photo library. You can also upload from a URL link below, which is a really cool feature since Kapwing is browser-based and not downloadable. Once you've done that, you will see a page with all of your photos, and the first thing you are going to want to do is give your photos a duration. Click on the drop-down duration menu and choose 0.5, 1, 2, 3, 5, or 10 seconds or click custom duration and type in your own. This will automatically string your photos together into a video where all of your photos have the same uniform duration. Next, you're gonna change the output size to nine by 16. This is the standard TikTok video size and Kapwing makes it super easy to do with just the click of one button. To do this, click on the gray area in the studio editor and go to the canvas tab on the right side of your screen. Click 9 by 16 and the frame of the video will have changed for every clip. If you took these photos and videos vertically on your phone, they should fit relatively well into this frame, but if you need to adjust anything, you can always click on any photo or video and drag the corners to adjust the size to make it fill out the way you want it. Now, let's say you don't want all of your clips to have the same duration. If you want to adjust each clip individually, here are a couple tips for adjusting your photo timing. To adjust the timing, hover over either side of the photo ends and you will see double-sided arrows appear. When that happens, just click and drag to extend or collapse your photo to make it longer or shorter. You can also go back to the duration by clicking the photo you want to shorten or extend, go to the edit tab that will have appeared on the right side of your studio editor, scroll down to the bottom, and adjust the duration of each clip individually. Now, odds are you're gonna wanna have audio with your slideshow, and you may wanna sync up the timing of your photos with music or a voiceover. So next, we are going to add audio. Go to the left-hand side of your studio editor, where you will see the audio tab. Go ahead and click that, and you will see a ton of options Kapoin gives you. You can upload audio from your device, you can paste audio from a URL, you can even record voiceover right in Kapoin. Also, Kapwing has a ton of free music tracks below these options that you can preview and put in your video. You can even search for the type or genre of track you're looking for. So lo-fi, pop, EDM, and it will give you a ton of options. Also towards the top, there is a sound effect tab in case you wanna elevate your video with any sound that's gonna make it pop. You know, violins, clapping, someone saying John Cena, they got everything in there. Once you have your audio in, you can now readjust the timing again to have the photos be faster or slower, or even on beat with the song you choose. You also may want text to make it instantly clear what your video is saying. So here is how to add text. Also on the left-hand side of the studio editor, you will see the text tab. Click that and you will be taken to these options. You can either choose a specific style of text or just go ahead and press the normal add text button. Once you do that, your text will appear on your photos. You will also see an editing tab pop up on the right side of the screen. This is where you can adjust the font, color, size, outline, opacity, you name it. Your text will appear in your timeline, so once you have it looking the way you want, you can adjust where you want it by clicking and dragging it, or how long you want it to be by clicking and dragging the ends. And voila, text on your slideshow. You can also change its position in the photo by clicking and dragging the text where it is previewed above the timeline. Another choice that Kapwin gives you that TikTok doesn't is customizing your transitions. Sometimes I find the TikTok photo transitions a little cheesy, so I like the option whether to use them or to not use them, or to make those transitions fit the style of the slideshow I'm making. To customize transitions, go to the Transitions tab on the left side of the studio editor. Here you will see a ton of options of different transitions. 
If you hover your mouse over each one, you can see a preview of what they look like. And if you find one you like, click and drag it onto a photo in your timeline, and it will automatically appear between the neighboring photos. You can play around with having transitions, not having transitions, or even using different transitions between each photo. And that is it. You are on your way to creating TikTok photo slideshows with customized photo lengths that are much more engaging than the few options within TikTok itself. As a reminder, you can export your slideshow by clicking the green export video button in the right hand corner. You will be taken to a page where you will see the video process and when it's done, you can click download file and it will download straight onto your device. You can also download your slideshow straight into your smartphone by going to kapwing, K-A-P-W-I-N-G dot com and signing into your account. There, find your project, click it, and then click download, then click download again, and it will be downloaded into your files, which you can actually see in the top right corner. When you click that arrow, then click the bottom left corner icon. Scroll up and there should be an option that says save video. Your slideshow is now in your camera roll and ready to post to TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you have any other questions or comments or thoughts or ideas for videos for us to make in the future, please let us know down in the comments below. We will try to respond to as many as we can. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more tips. We put out videos every week on how to level up your storytelling on TikTok and other social media. Thanks for watching and happy editing.